What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So today we have a treat, a new GPU. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and unpack it here. I uh, actually purchased this from someone in my Discord community. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out the link down below to the Discord channel. Feel free to join in and check out the crypto mining channel in there. Lots of gamer talk, but also a great uh, crypto mining channel in there as well for the Discord. So let's go ahead and take a look at this sucker. We went ahead and nabbed this from someone. Um, I was eager to go ahead and grab this. I've been kind of trying to get my hands on any card that I can right now. Uh, as I think all of you guys have as well. And so let's go ahead and see what we got. So we have here, this is the Gigabit, which, uh-oh, Gigabit, watch out for the memory. Uh, this is a Gigabit um, GeForce GTX 1660. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up and take a look and see what we got here. Um, this is from an actual community member, Warrior, bought this off of him. Um, sorry, it's going to get a little crinkly here. I know the microphone loves it trying to do this one-handed remember one-handed one-handed guys gotta hold the camera with one hand and take this out let me pause it this is ridiculous let me pause it okay we are back <laughs> way too much work um so this is the uh geforce as i said uh gtx 1660 this is uh the oc version this is not the um super now uh, look at that one eight pin heck yeah uh on here so let's go ahead and take a look shall we Will the camera focus? Yay, it did. So this is, for those of you guys that can't see it, the GVN1660 Overclock 6GD uh, is what we have here. Um, so this is Gigabit. Um, so I know they are a little less desirable, but we were able to go ahead and pick this up. Let's get our little red panda mining uh, fan spin in here. <laughs> Dude, he took good care of it, man. He said it was a year old, and I do trust him, uh, being a member of the community. Um, so it's small though. I mean, it's definitely small. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. Let's put this over here. Nice and careful. Let's go ahead and put our box off to the side. Always got to save our boxes. By the way, GPURisers.com. Check it out. Uh, if we go ahead here, let's grab our 470. Look at the size difference here with our, this is a 470. Okay. Look at the size difference there. In the, so a little smaller, a little smaller on the 470. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a 570. Oh, look at that, even, even bigger of a difference. And then we also have over here a 580. Now this is the XFX, not one of the uh, Sapphire Nitros. But yeah, this guy is so small, so small. So what we're gonna do next, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this guy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get it set up. We have a riser ready to go, put it in and test it, one of our new GPU risers. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, guys, so we have our card installed here. It is in place, it is so small, look at this thing. So this is our uh, Gigabyte um gtx 1660 overclock you can see how small it is it actually doesn't even hit that back support rail so i'm gonna have to figure something out here but you can see how small it is versus the 470s here um, i do only have that card in place the other cards i actually have unplugged here entirely so this is nice though and look at that gpu riser there with the blue light and the red light that's really really nice i really like that so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let's go ahead and see exactly what this card does Alrighty guys, so we are over on the computer here. We're logged into our worker. Now we only have the one card showing, everything else has been disabled. What I did do before I powered up the machine was I did go ahead and uh, clear the flight sheet. And then what else I did was under overclocking is I went ahead and removed the overclock in here um, so that we don't have any mismatch configuration when we do boot this up. So right now we can see we do have the GeForce GTX 1660. Uh, this is the, the Gigabyte card. Uh, this is the has the Micron uh, DDR5, not the DDR6, but the DDR5 currently running here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, put some things in here. So for our flight sheet, we're going to go ahead and apply the Ethereum. Uh, this is running on Hive on, on T-Rex Miner. 
So we're gonna go ahead and apply that. So that'll get us a flight sheet there. Uh, then in addition to that, we're gonna go to our overclocks and this is default. So we're just gonna look at what the default is and then what exactly we can do for the hash rate. So not gonna let this overclock default setting sit long, but this at least is gonna give us somewhere to start with uh, at the current moment. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get up our um, hive shell. Let's get that booted and good to go. Alrighty, so we are back up and running here. It just took a minute to go ahead and apply that config. You can see right now we are running the GeForce GTX 1660 on 21.74 mega hash on no overclock settings or undervolt settings right now, just, just to get started. Um, love that. Look at 84 watts right there, uh, which, <laughs> which is like nothing, uh, which makes sense. Jumping over to our shell in the box, we can go ahead and see here some of our stats and some of our numbers. We're right around 51C currently right now, um, which is great. 84, between 84 and 85 watts is what we're running at. And uh, we did get our one first share there at the 21.74. We'll give it a minute here. I do want to see uh, how we do a little bit more there. Okay, we do have a second share, which is great. Uh, so we'll wait for that to go ahead and report back. But this gives us some idea as to where we stand. So now let's go ahead and go into our overclock settings. And we're going to go ahead and um, make some adjustments here. So let's go ahead. We're going to copy the existing con default config. We're going to go ahead and select Ethereum. And we're going to go ahead and pick some popular presets as NVIDIA is, is totally new to me. Uh, I've been using AMD for quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and select our 1660. Uh, there is our memory as well. It's Even though it's advertised as 6, it's actually... Uh, 5944 so 5944 megabytes there and the cardinality for this one is is roughly 17 um, but we do see a negative 200 on the clock as well as 1500 on the memory um, so let's go ahead and try this one out here we'll see we'll see kind of how we do so we're going to do a negative 200 we're going to do a 1500 and we're going to do a 75 there um, you have the ability to turn off the leds if you want we're, this is just for testing so let's go ahead and save this and before we get into that applying just want to check back on our tab here 21.74 still taking a look at our shell in the box i wanted to go ahead and jump over here look at that. 21.74 consistently across the board is not fluctuating like what we see with kapow at all there so now let's go ahead it's applying this overclock let's wait for this overclock to apply and we'll check back in Alrighty, guys, we are back and we are up to 26.14 mega hash. We're running at 74 watts right now uh, for the Ethereum algorithm. Uh, taking a look at our shell in the box, we can see we're at 26.14 consistently. You can actually see right up here when it went ahead and bounced and our configuration started to apply for our new overclock settings. Now, what I'd like to do is go ahead and jump in here. And I do want to go ahead and uh, copy a well-known um, YouTuber in the space. And I guarantee all you guys know who it is. And that is Red Panda Mining. He has these cards and he is running them. So I want to take a look to see exactly what what he's running them at uh, to see what we can do. So he is at the negative 200 for our core clock. He has the memory up to 1600. Uh, in addition to that, our, our power limit is at 75 and he has his fans at 60. Uh, so let's go ahead and apply that and see what type of differences we get um, to our mega hash overall. Once again, we are at 26.14. We were originally at 21. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we are getting in shell in a box and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. It looks like that we are getting 26.29 uh, in, in the currently uh, based off of this new configuration here. The memory was bumped, if you remember, from 1500 over to 1600 now. Uh, shell in a box, you can go ahead and see we're at 2643. Uh, taking a look over at Red Panda Minings and some of his configurations, he has some of these. And now, granted, these are Zotax uh, versus the Gigabit. He's using the same memory set as the Micron, though. And uh, he has some at 26.49, 2650, 2648. Um, so he is very, we're very much neck and neck with where that's at right there. Um, looking pretty dang good in that regard. 
So I am super happy with this. This gives us, you know, to give you guys an idea, we were able to nab this card for $150 US. So for $150 US, we were able to go ahead and get a 26.29 mega hash on Ethereum right now, which is great, which is awesome. Now, if we go ahead and swap over and see what these cards are going for right now, let's take a look and see what we can find. Alrighty, so taking a quick look real quick, we can go ahead and see that uh, on on Best Buy right now they're completely sold out, but they're being they're on sale for two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, so we got a really good price there. Now, granted, they're sold out, so they're not currently carrying them. If you jump over to Newegg though. Holy hell, Newegg has them right now for $606. Um, but And they are available, but they're coming from Millennial Boys. <laughs> what, what, what a carrier there uh, in particular. So it uh, looks like we got a great deal on the GeForce GTX 1660. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to our handheld camera. Alrighty guys, so I am super happy with the outcome of this card for the amount of money that we spent and the hash rate that it's getting. Not not too too bad. Um, you know, uh, having a whole rig of these would actually be pretty decent right now. The current market is kind of rough right now for any uh, of the GPUs out there, so it's definitely questionable. I'd love to know: Are any of you guys running these these 1660s? Um, you know, I'm, I'm eager to hear how you guys are doing, what type of profitability that you guys have seen out of them. Um, I'm undecided if I'll hold on to this. We'll kind of decide the direction we go, but I'd love some feedback. Uh, you know, I do know that the 470s get some decent um, hash rate on uh, Ethereum, but of course they're only four gig. Um, so that's something for us to keep in mind versus this guy is six gig. Well, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me for another episode here at The Hobbyist Miner. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Take care.